welcome back and this week I'm going to be planning May 7th through May the 13th which is Mother's Day weekend. It also happens to be graduation weekend and I had a very hard time trying to find a kit. The only kit that I found that really works for this week which is typical for my university to do is have graduation on Mother's Day weekend but um, the only kit I've ever found to work before is by Scribble Prints Co. And actually, I'm going to show it to you really quick. Used for that week. This is by Scribble Prints Co. It's her Celebrate Kit. And it's just perfect with the cakes and the flowers. And it's just a very Celebrate Anything type of kit. And um, this is actually my favorite spread. The colors are perfect. It's very beautiful and spring-like. And ultimately, um, I have yet to find another kit that can really do that for me. I had considered using a birthday kit. For this week but the colors were too dark so I will be using this kit by Shop Jessica Hearts. It's called Gray Sky. Um, it's a very beautiful pastel kit and it's very old but as you can see I'm a kit hoarder <laughs> and um, yeah I have a problem. <laughs> but this um, this sheet you have all the half boxes and headers and the weekend banner here and then we have the checklist and you can tell like this is super old because the formatting has totally changed. Then all the little things here, some flags, appointment labels, some um, additional icons. And then we've got the bottom washi here as well as the additional washi. And then we have these gorgeous boxes. You've got two with quotes on them. One says come with May and the other says live on coffee and flowers. Um, it's a very May appropriate kit I feel like. But being that it is graduation week, I decided to just keep it very floral and neutral. And... Um, because I also wanted to celebrate Mother's Day, considering my mom's birthday was this past Friday, and um, Mother's Day is this Sunday, and graduation is on Saturday. So you can imagine, this just, you know, this this is probably the best kit that I could go with this week. So yeah, without further ado, I'm going to switch over to a voiceover, and we're just going to get started planning. So here we go. All right, lovely. So here we go with this week's plan with me. I apologize that it is going up late. Um... This week, but it's it's an incredibly busy week as you are about to see. I started by putting down my weekend banner. It was a little long on the edge. I'm not sure why, other than it's probably fitted for the Erin Condren and not this particular set of inserts. So, and it's an older kit, so I'll just chalk it up to that. But here I am. Figuring out my full boxes and honestly this took me a really long time to figure out so that's what I'm doing for now but um, just a little chit chat but this week has been it's been very trying um, you know it's just one of those weeks where you aim to do the things and the things just don't work out and you just stop caring <laughs> and that's kind of where I'm at so um, it's, it's just been really rough and actually I use quite a bit of undo. I'm just going to warn y'all now. It, it is a ton, but I'm, I'm definitely at that point of the week where all of my filters are leaving me and, you know, someone says the wrong thing. They might catch an attitude out of me and I don't mean to be that way it's just that my fuse is shorter than it has been all year long so yeah um come what may I guess I don't just have to deal with it but yeah so as you can see I'm I'm changing I'm like going in a merry-go-round on these full boxes I just some of them I wasn't a fan of but they were what I had to work with and I just made it work like they're pretty but I was trying to get them to like sequence in a way that made sense to me and so it just took me a while <laughs> I finally settled on something and we can actually move into the rest of the setup for this week so I went ahead and pulled like all the things I wanted to use starting with these date de date covers goodness these date covers are from Colourpop paper who is back and running and has foil my goodness I, I just don't even know I haven't been able to place an order because I have to save my funds for uh, groceries because I'm I'm basically 
going to be needing some soft foods as next week I will be getting all four of my wisdom teeth cut out. Um, you know, that's a great way to spend the first week of summer freedom after a very long semester, but you know, it'll be done. It'll be out of the way. And so, um, after I put in the date covers, I then put in the today headers. I alternate it with the gray and pink. And then I put in a label from Planning Choco and a meeting cup to mark a meeting that I thought I had, but apparently my boss said we didn't really need to meet. So there we go. Um, so that didn't actually end up happening. Um, then after that, I put in a little to-do list for things that need to get done. And then I was going to have lunch with a student. So I put that down and I used a planning choco bow divider just to jazz it up a little bit. And the icon is actually from the kit and the, uh, rounded quarter boxes I'm putting on the full box is from planning choco, um, that I got on a weekend sale. And then I used another one of those coffee cups from the Crafty Banana that says meat on it because I had an afternoon meeting for um, the summer study abroad trip we're on. So just basically some be on the same page type of stuff. Um, and then I decided I wanted to figure out my bottom washi. So I ended up trimming this um, bottom washi in half. And I'm telling y'all, the getting a new slice tool just changed my life. And so I just put it down like all the way across because I didn't have quite a lot of sidebar stuff, as you could tell. Um, I don't think I was missing a sheet, but I definitely, yeah, definitely didn't have any sidebar items in this kit. So... It's a good thing I had bought the stuff from Planning Choco to actually make that happen. And then I use I wanted to use some Simply Gilded Washi. So I wish I had the skinny bows in pink with the gold foil, but I didn't. So there we go. Then I put in a half box for the finals week activity for the evening. Um, during the last week of finals, we'll do an activity each night starting on Sunday going through Thursday and um Monday night was chocolate faux fondue basically I put ganache in a crock pot and let them at it and we ran out before everybody could get some so it turned out really good and then underneath that I just used some washi and another bow divider from planting choco and um I had planned to watch Tiana and Iman and I caught like the last 15 minutes of it by the time I could get downstairs from the activity. So that was a bust, but I'll be glad to be able to catch up on it. And then moving on to Tuesday. Um, so our students have presentations and I was going to go, but this morning um, I decided to sleep in because I'd been up late the night before and it was just a trying day. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to sleep in a little bit. Well, turns out, um, the fire alarm goes off this morning, and yeah, turns out, um, some of the, uh, cleaning folks were in the basement of the building using a hot plate, which is a fire hazard a, on a college campus within a residence hall, just so you know. Anything that has an open element is a fire hazard. And yeah, so had to do that. I guess I could film a rewind, honestly, because this week has just not really been going as I planned out in this little uh, spread here. But on Tuesday, I wanted to make sure I called my HSA to just double check what they would cover in case I need to just like cancel my appointment. But I'm fairly certain I'm good, but I just wanted to double check. Um... And then un underneath the full box on Tuesday, I put down to, um, the activity, which tonight it was Zumba and smoothies. Surprisingly, it was a bust because I think it was just a big deadline the next um, 
the following morning. So, um, no one was really interested in doing Zumba, although I feel like it probably would have helped them study better. And so I had some trouble with the undo and they changed the tops and I hate that top. Um, it is the absolute worst. It, I can't open my undo, my brand new bottle. So I had to savagely pull up that flag and, um, I cut down a checklist to put in that space instead and because I really needed a list but I ripped the paper so that was the best way to cover it up and so yeah I put down Tuesday's activity um Zumba and smoothies the smoothies turned out really good and then after that I wanted to cook but I ended up ordering pizza and pasta today so you know what that's what happened um, and then I still use that phone from Paper and Gumption. And those girls are from the Fox and Pip. Um, I can't remember which girl it is, but um, I just felt like she was a good way to mark the activities. And then the girl cooking is a Paper and Gumption um, sticker as well. From I got it on $2 Tuesday because that's my favorite day to shop from that particular Etsy shop. And then moving on to Wednesday... There will be presentations in the morning, but we also have a graduation practice Wednesday morning along with um, a meeting about senior night. And then I started filling in my to-dos and all that jazz. And then I also wanted to do a few cleaning items later that afternoon just as a way for me to flex my hours. I'd only work part of a day. Um, and then I put in Wednesday's activity already, which is karaoke with milk and cookies. So super simple. I'm trying to give myself the night off and, um, the, um, my colleagues can hopefully handle that one. And then I went back in on Tuesday to put in my video cause I was like, oops, can't forget. And then at the bottom of Wednesday, I put that I wanted to, um, clean the floors in my apartment. So we'll see what I get done. It's a little ambitious, but we're going to see. I also put in laundry and that foiled laundry um, machine is from Rose Shadow Collection. And then moving on to Thursday, more presentations that morning that I, that I don't want to miss. And then I use bow dividers again and a little checklist. Those gold foil checklists are from My Newest Addiction. I really want to get her bow ones because they're so pretty. But I put that in and then um, I finished out the rest of Thursday. And I started working on Friday. I'll get back to it in a minute. But I wanted to go ahead and put in these graduation girls and finish setting up the rest of the weekend here. And so I used the picture and the little makeup thing to remind myself I need to look presentable for graduation and whatnot. So there's that. I may actually straighten my hair. Normally it's curly. Or maybe I'll just pin and tuck it because that's going to be easier. I'm not going to have time to straighten my hair. And then afterwards I'm going to deep condition because it's going to be a crazy day. Um, that's going to be the me time I do later in the evening once we close the building. So here I'm putting in bottom... Um, some Simply Gilded Bow Washi for the bottom washi on the weekend. And then just a call to check in with my mom and my sister about about when they're coming um, the following morning. And I was going to bake, but then I was like, nah, um, I should mark that we're finally closed for the semester. So I'm using that little sticker there that I got from Isha B. Prince Co. And then the... Um, the graduation girls I got from Miss Adeline. Um, she's an Australian-based shop. I got these forever ago, and I actually love how they look. And then I put in a little cleaning checklist, and the girl in the full box on Sunday is to mark um, Mother's Day. I'm actually going to try and write it in, and we'll see how it works out. And then I used the other bottom washi for the listing side, and I used a an emoji and a flag for the happy for the next week to mark my surgery and then I just put in a quarter box to fill up the space we'll see what I end up doing 
and then on Friday, going back to that, I, I turned a half box on its side and used another one of those Miss Adeline girls to mark senior night for all the awards. And then I used a clean kitchen sticker from Peaceful Mind Design because I wanted to clean up my kitchen. And I put in a half box, not a half box, but I'm fumbling with the sidebar here just to get spacing right. I put in a quarter box to mark that I wanted to clean my nails and then I just wanted to get in the bed early. Also, I apologize about the lighting here. Um, I don't have any professional lights, so that's why. I'm not sure how to fix it, but I'll get there. And then I put in this sidebar box from Plain Choco and just put in a This Week with a label from the kit. And um, I used some different icons on the listing side to set it up. And that's pretty much everything for this week. Again, I apologize for the lighting. But here I'm just finding a place for some deco. And that's about it for this week. Um, very busy week. A little bit ambitious. But I think I can do it. I will get the things done. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I am going to, I am not going to be uploading next week. I will be doing a rewind once I return. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video two weeks from now. Bye-bye.